Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, yes, I know it's been a year. Long story short, uh, right as the pandemic kind of be begun and we were all getting into a lockdown here in the US, my camera broke. I had pretty grand plans for creating like lots of like inspiring, interesting content for everybody during lockdown. But it was like within the first week, it just crapped out on me and didn't have the money to get it fixed or get a new one until pretty recently. So here we are and I just moved. So here's our uh, new background for a little bit. So today's makeup look is inspired by this thing on my face. So I made this, here's my like picture with it a long time ago. I made that probably 2019. Also, I'm kind of inspired by like Violet Tchotchke's Runway on Dry Grace. I think that the category was leather and lace or something. And she has this like beautiful dominatrix thing going on with like bangs and a slick back ponytail. And it's just beautiful. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I already have a little makeup on from recording videos earlier today. So we're going to go ahead and be lazy and just go right on top of that. First thing I'm going to do is take my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean and I'm going to run this through my eyebrows and create my new eyebrow shape. Look for something a little bushy and straight. Doesn't have to be totally perfect because we're going to fix it up with concealer. But before that, I'm going to take this uh, waterproof length and volume e.l.f. mascara and I'm going to run this through my eyebrows to tint them and hold them in place. Next, I have this concealer brush and then I have Graftobian Pro Paint Concealer. And I'm just going to mix together all of these colors. I love that I showed you it closed. <laughs> it looks like that. This is very, very old. I've had it for a long time. And I just mix the colors up here. God, it looks so gross. I'm so sorry. And then I'm going to carve out my eyebrow shape with this. Here I'm just going to take, this is an e.l.f. brush, Ultimate Blending Brush. It is very dense, I usually use it for my foundation, so I'm just going to take it and blend out the edges of this. Next I'm going to use the old Mayron Stick Paint in Alabaster. And I'm going to use the same concealer brush and just pick up some of that color. And I'm going to use this to sort of prime my eyelids, but really what I'm doing is um, I'm just creating a base for what I'm going to stick on top and it's going to be a lot more vibrant with such a light color underneath, but it's not going to actually do anything for priming my eyes and helping the color stand longer, just so you're not not fooled into thinking that it will. Just doing these makeup looks at home with no intention of actually going anywhere, then I don't put on any sorts of primers or setting shades or anything, but I definitely recommend them. And I use them when I go outside, but who am I fooling? It's January 2021. It's Sunday at like 4 o'clock. I'm not going anywhere. Now I'm taking Taco by Sugar Pill and another one of these uh, unicorn brushes. This one's a little bit fluffier. And I'm going to apply that all over the white. To set it in place and fill in some of those gaps. So I'm going to be taking most of the colors today from this Naked Smoky palette by Urban Decay and I'm just going to go and use that same brush I was just using because I just don't 
want to wash that many. And I'm going to go in with the color Password first. It's like a nice, cool taupe. And I'm going to put this in the crease of my eye in the outer V. All right, now I'm taking my favorite blendy brush from Wet n Wild, and I am taking the color 13 on the end here. Great view. And then I'm gonna use that to blend out what I just did. So the same brush as before, I'm taking the next color over, which is called Whiskey. I'm doing kind of the same thing to deepen the crease. Lastly, I'm taking the color Smolder right there, straight onto the blending brush, and I'm going to put this in the corner. Now underneath my eyes, with the smaller brush, I am going to be putting the same three colors in basically the same order. Okay, now I have that concealer brush from before, and it's still got a little bit of white off or white on it. So I'm gonna try my best to scrape that off of there. Then I'm going to use the color 13 again. I'm gonna press that onto my lid, and since the product will be a little bit creamier, it should uh, stick a little better and have a crispier line. And then set that and blend it a little like normal. So next I'm going to add a little highlight to inner corner of my eyes and my brow bone using Polished Bone by Apocalyptic Beauty. They make my most favorite highlighters. Uh, Polished Bone is definitely up there. And if you would like to try it out for yourself, you can use my discount code Graveyard for 15% off. I'll leave the info in the description. Okay, so I'm just putting this in the corners with a kind of domed, pointed brush. This is Coastal Scents from way back and way back. I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and put this on my water lines. Uh, again, if this was something that you wanted to leave the house and expect to stay any amount of time, I would set this with white eyeshadow afterwards. So for my eyeliner, I'm going to use this Nazaru Black Body Paint because it's easy. And uh, usually when I have sort of thicker eyeliner, you know, this goes on way faster. Also, uh, as I mentioned, not going anywhere. And if I was, I would use a, like, a nice liquid eyeliner. I have one from like Wet n Wild, one from Elf that I really like, that are very long lasting to the point where it will be very difficult for me to remove it in like half an hour from now when I take all this off. Mix that with a little bit of water, get it on a very thin angled brush. This one is from Elf. I'm going to say a quick prayer and then line my eyes. Alright, curling lashes now. The mascara that I'm using is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. I don't know about you, but as soon as they went cruelty free, I was extremely excited to go back to this. This is the mascara I used all through like middle school and high school. I was sad during our time apart. I'm gonna let that dry for a while and I'm gonna move on to my face. Alright, I'm using this uh, L foundation. I'm pretty sure this is their acne fighting foundation, or that's what it was called. Um, I don't know if they still sell this. This is an embarrassingly old product that I have. I'm gonna try to apply it like an influencer.
Alright, and that same brush from before that I was telling you that I used for my foundation. Here we go. Now, I don't know if I should take this as like like a cool step in my life, but my uh, previously very sparse and uh, light facial hair is finally at a level where I can't really get rid of it visually completely uh, with just my electric razor. So I might have to actually start shaving with a razor again soon. I did it like twice when my hair first started coming in and it gave me such bad like acne and growing hairs that I never did it again. But now if I'm trying to create that illusion, I might have to try again and get some new products and do it probably the right way with nice things and hopefully we'll be good to go. And next I'm gonna set it with this uh, broken remaining shard of Elf Press Powder and the same brush, not the same exact brush, but I have two of these. And then I like to take a little bit of the Stargazer white powder on the little puff that it comes with and just uh, put that under my eyes. There are places I like a little matte highlight and then I take the same brush as before and blend that all out. And for contouring, I like to take the Shade and Light Quad in Smoke from Kat Von D and then I'm going to grab my, hmm, where'd it go? It is another like uh, unicorn brush. This one is a little bit more, you can tell that these were bootleg falling apart. This one's a more narrow in one direction, wider this way, and sort of soft dome to it. The bristles aren't very dense, so this is great for uh, blending out dark colors. So I take the, the taupe and I put it on my cheekbones, forehead, side of the nose, and jawline. And I'm gonna go back in with Polished Bone and this Sonia Kashuk brush. I believe this is like an eyeshadow blendy brush and I'm going to highlight my face. Um, I'm gonna dump my eyelashes sufficiently dry and then I'm going to apply some falsies. I've got this huge pack of them from, I don't know where. Uh, I don't really have any alliances to specific lashes. Uh, save for Alien Cosmetics, they have very nice soft full lashes but the pairs that I have um, are colored like I have a blue one and a green one and I just want black so I use a regular old duo adhesive and I'm just gonna apply them in a very uh, unsophisticated way I'm not very good at this now I just gotta do my lips my choices are you know black nude and then this uh purple purpley oh put it on by nyx is one of my favorites i might go with this actually okay so now the next step is actually putting the face harness on So I'll try my best to link today's wig below, but I did not buy it in my own account, so I don't really have the receipt information. You know? and, um, right on top of the harness, I realized that uh, <sighs> makes it look a little less realistic, but be okay. Uh, for this look, and because I said earlier that it was kind of inspired by Violet, I'm going to add some bangs. So I've got one of these clip-on bangs, they sell these like all over the place and I'm sorry I don't remember where mine are from uh the worst okay all right I'm gonna call it this is the finished look uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed I really miss making videos and I hope you're excited to see new ones and if you have any requests uh, please let me know please leave a like a comment please subscribe if you haven't and you're interested in seeing more things like this 
And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.